Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Asini Lorenzo. If you're new to my channel, what's up? What's good? What's poppin'? If you're not new to my channel, what's up? What's good? What's poppin'? What's poppin'? She like somebody who next. Eh. Well, I'ma be that when the time comes. I'ma say be your sexual. We can be flexible, baby girl. I'll make you. Today's video, yes, I have my shirt backwards. Why? Don't ask. And yes, I'm gonna be eating grapes during this video because I'm hungry and I don't feel like making food right now. So, if you're that type of person that doesn't like all the. Then I suggest you click out of this video. But don't click out of the video. Like, just watch it, but just put the volume down just a little bit. Let me, but just watch it. But just watch it. Watch it. I don't know. Maybe it's going to annoy me, too. You know what? I'm going to just wait to eat these grapes after because I can't multitask. You clicked on this video because you're probably asking some... <laughs> You're probably asking yourself some questions that you want to know, but but you don't want to ask nobody. Like, you don't want to ask your mom, you don't want to ask your auntie, you don't want to ask your cousin, you don't want to ask your friend, you don't want to ask nobody. Like, nobody. Like, you don't want to ask nobody. And it's understandable because some of those questions be a little embarrassing. That's what I'm here for. That's what I'm here for. I'm going to answer your questions. All of your little TMI questions. So, let's just get right into the questions, okay? The first question is going to be, should you use the same razor for everywhere? No. You should not use the same razor for everywhere. Only because... See, everywhere in your body has different types of bacteria. For example, I would not use the razor that I shave my armpits for my poom poom. I would not do that. Oh my god, why am I? What is going on right now? Like, why are they falling off? Okay, but yeah. But what I do, what I do is I shave my legs and then I shave my armpits and then I use a different razor for my poom poom and your booty if you shave your booty. But <laughs> this is another conversation. It's just more sanitary like that. You just keep. All of the different bacteria from from combining and doing all that nasty stuff. You just keep it clean and clear, like proactive. <laughs> My second one is gonna be younger guys dating older girls, and it's gonna be older girls dating older guys. I mean, younger. I mean, older girls dating younger guys and all of that jive. Personally, I'm not with it. I'm not with it. I'm not with the pedophilia. I'm not with the. I'm, I'm not with it. 16, 15 year olds who just entered high school, right? Who just entered high school freshman. Oh my God, I'm so high. You be thinking them boys like you? Them senior boys like you? They don't like you, baby. They don't like you. They like what you got. That's what they like. What you got? That's what they like. And it's just something you just gotta figure out later on in life or later on in high school. Because a lot of girls are just so infatuated with the thought that, oh my god, an older guy likes me. Like, this is so great. Like, no, boo. It's not great. It's not amazing. It's pedophilia. That's what the it is. The same goes with girls, bro. Like, are you 35, right? You 35 and you over here dating an 18 year old? Like, I don't know, bro. I still see that as, like, even though the 18 year old is legal, like, baby, what is you doing? Would you go get you an older man go get you a grown man who has a business who's doing something with his life not no 18 year old who's still in high school and doesn't even have a car yet like come on baby what are you doing no oh no baby what are you doing boy? You my third question is going to be do you feel different losing your virginity no you don't sorry to break it to you sorry to crush your dreams of feeling like a whole grown woman a new woman a different this like no i crushed your dreams i'm sorry i'm sorry but you don't you don't you don't <laughs> you don't most of you girls don't even notice but you probably already lost your virginity riding a bike riding a horse riding just riding in general just daily kid activities that you've done, you could have broke your hymen already. You could have broke your hymen already. You didn't even notice. You know that one day when you was riding a bike and you came home, you looked at your underwear and you was like, why is there blood? Like, why is there? Baby, you broke your hymen. And sometimes girls don't even bleed. So you don't you don't even be noticing when you break your hymen. Hey, baby, nothing's going to change. Nothing's going to change about you. So don't think, oh, if I have sex, I'm going to... No, like, no, nothing's going to change about you. You're going to be regular. You're going to be the same. You're probably going to have more knowledge about sex, but you're not, you're not going to... Nothing's going to change. You feel me? My next question is going to be, how do you shave your butt? Let me teach you something, girl. Do not be rough. You know how y'all be hella rough on your legs and y'all just be going fast and no, don't do that. The same way with your poom poom and you be you be looking down and, and and you be going real soft, real slow. Maybe sometimes you could go a little fast because you get used to it. You know, you get used to the rhythm or whatever. 
it's the same thing with your booty hole. Do not go fast at first. Do not think, oh, it's going to be easy, breezy, beautiful, cover girl type shit. Because no, it's not. I'm going to teach you right now. Okay, trigger warning. You're going to spread your cheeks, right? Spread them. Oh, well, 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 you're going to have a raise in one hand. So with one hand, you're going to spread the cheek, right? And on this side of the cheek that you just spread, you're going to shave. Very lightly, very lightly. Then you're gonna turn it up and then you're gonna shave again. Boom. Pass it to the other hand. And this is your non dominant hand now. This is your non dominant, so it gets a little harder. So this is really gotta be soft with it. Really gotta be soft with it. So you grab the cheek, ooh, spread the cheek. <laughs> and you go soft, go, uh, uh, okay, okay, boom. Your booty hole shaved. You don't gotta do anything more than that. Don't go fast. Don't be thinking you're Superman or nothing because you gonna cut your booty hole doing that. I promise you that. Let's talk about nipple hair. Nipple hair is normal. If you got nipple hair, girl, it is normal. It is totally normal. Like, don't be feeling like, oh my God, I'm so weird. Like, I'm so different. Like, uh. You're chilling, bro. You're chilling. I know, I know one of my closest family members. I'm not gonna out her because I'm not gonna do that. She got nipple hair, and I looked at her, and I was younger at this time, okay? I was like, why do you have nipple hair? She was like, girl, because I'm human. I'm like, you right. You right. We all get nipple hair. I mean, I personally don't have nipple hair. Oh, TMI. But I know plenty of girls who get nipple hair. Like, it's normal. It's normal. Don't be thinking you're weird. Don't be thinking you're masculine. Don't be thinking, like, you're, you're, you're some different species, because you're not. You're not. It's normal. Hair on your body is normal. So the next one we're gonna talk about is birth control, okay? Birth control is very optional. There's so many different types of birth controls that you can take that can fit you, that can't fit you. I probably took in all of the birth controls. Like, I'm not even gonna lie. I probably took every different type of birth control, but that's because, like, at first it was because, okay, this is not working for me, but then I went into, like, you know what? Let me just try every single one and see which one works for me. I don't know if that's good for my body or not, but... I did it and I realized that I like the depot shot. A lot of bad things, I know. A lot of bad things about the depot shot. Like I've heard so much bad things about the depot shot, but that's just what I like, that's easier. I had the one that goes in your vagina, what is it called, Skyla. I had Skyla, Skyla and Morena, that's the ones that go in your vagina. And that one works really good. It stays in for like three to five years, depending on which one you get. That one's really good. Like I, that's probably one of the best ones also. But I personally like the double shot. But just make sure that you're at that age, especially, especially if you're at that age where you're having intercourse, you're having sex and all these different type of things to make sure you protect yourself. No birth controls do not protect from STDs, uh, HIDs, uh, all of that. You know, it don't, it don't do that. It don't do that. So make sure you wear condoms. Make sure that your partner gets tested. And you don't want to come out with a baby. Who want to come out with a baby if you have a sex? Nobody want to come out with a baby. I wouldn't want to come out with a baby. You crazy at my age. Why would I want a baby? At your age, you just started having sex. You want a baby? No. So many girls who have sex for the first time and boom, pop out with a baby. Their first time having sex. Like, that's crazy. That's crazy. That's so crazy to me. Like, how do you have sex for the first time and pop out a baby? That's crazy, bro. That's crazy. You're wild. And I would never. I could never. I could, like, I just, I'm not strong enough for that. So I decided to choose birth control. What are some things to take into consideration when choosing a significant other? So things that I do is I look at my past relationships and I see, damn, what did I not like about it? What did I do? What did I, what did I like about it? I look at what did I not like about it first. And then I look at the person that I'm talking to right now and I'm like, do they do those things that I don't like? And if they do do those things, then we gonna throw them away because no. But if they don't do those things, okay, check mark. And then I look at the things that I do like. Do they do those things? No. But it's okay because they can learn to do those things that you do like. Because at the end of the day, if they're your significant other and if they're with you, they're gonna learn to learn how to love you. You feel me? Okay. My next one is gonna be how to get um, rid of razor bumps. So. If you got razor bumps, if you got them strawberry bumps, what we like to call them, you can get sugar honey, or you can get sugar um, black castor oil, or you can get like all of that, and you could just like rub it on your legs, rub it, boom, just it's like a scrub. Well, you can just go to the store. That's like the DIY one, or you can go to the store and buy them body wear. 
like just like a body shop you feel me or like walmart they got really good scrubs there there's some scrub i forgot what it's called but there's a really good mango scrub Ooh, the big that smells finger looking good baby top to year so this is not a question well it's a question but it's a question about me it's um what was my worst experience on my period so what was my worst experience on my period so it was like one of my first dates i've ever went on right so he took me out to um some restaurant or something like that and it was real nice right the food was good i think it was, was it good i don't know i don't even remember if we got to the food that's crazy i don't know little story time i don't even think we got to the food to be honest but anyways i was like i didn't use the bathroom right so i went to the bathroom oh. I pulled down it was like a little jumpsuit i had a little green and white striped jumpsuit it was cute because it made my jets look <laughs> feel me so i pulled down the jumpsuit because you know with the jumpsuit you gotta pull it off obviously you can't just pull down the pants because there's no pants it's a whole jumpsuit but anyways i pulled out the jumpsuit i look i wear your underwear and like it's supposed to be boom my period went through my underwear it went through my pants I looked at the back of my pants. It was just bloody. Like, I was walking around to the bathroom with bloody pants. Like, you know when you don't got pads and tampons and nothing? And you get the paper towel. <laughs> and you get the paper towel and you roll it up so it looks like a little pad or whatever. You put it in and you just, <laughs> you just leave it there. You feel me? That's what I did. I went back and I was like, I was embarrassed. I, I mean, no, I was embarrassed, obviously. I was embarrassed as hell. But I wasn't shy to be like, dude, I just got my period. Like, we gotta go. We gotta blast. Like, I know we just got to the restaurant, but oh my God. Like, we need to go somewhere because like, this is just not working out for me. It's just not working out for me. I'm sorry. <laughs> so we got the food to go. And then, um, and yeah, we left and that was my my worst period story because it was just embarrassing like in a public restaurant a nice restaurant too like a a cute nice restaurant like you bleeding out your ass like what that was the end of my video thank you guys for watching if you watch until all the why is my earring always falling off it's because i didn't put a back piece to it that's the real reason it's falling off if you watch until this point i want you guys to like comment subscribe turn on your post notifications to see every time i post okay road to one thousand <laughs> See you guys in the next video. Oh, 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 oh.